Hi, I'm Dr. Linnea Goodman at Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. Grew up in Essex Junction, Vermont, uh, right outside Burlington. So we had 58 acres, grew up with sheep. Um, actually, the first baby I delivered was a baby lamb, um, which led to obstetrics and gynecology in the first place, um, on a, the end of a dirt road. Um, and then decided that I absolutely couldn't stay in the country, wanted to go to a city, so chose New York City as the biggest city I could find. I went to college at Columbia University in New York City and then went on to medical school at the University of Vermont. Um, went down to residency in North Carolina at Chapel Hill and off to Cleveland Clinic for a fellowship. My mom is a nurse midwife um, and so she delivered babies and my dad is a clinical psychologist who did adolescent medicine. So I'm married to a, a Navy pilot who's now a, a flight instructor at the local airport and uh, we have two little boys. A guilty passion of mine is uh, sci-fi books, um, you know, anything like um, set in the future, Ender's Game, The Matrix, things like that um, are a lot of fun, which goes along. I was a biomedical engineer in college and that's what my degree's in and I love new technology and um, I find that stuff really fascinating. So I think infertility is a very isolating disease. Um, when people go through it, uh, which I understand is that they have no one to turn to about it. They can't talk to their mom, they can't talk to their sister, all their friends are getting pregnant, they're going to baby showers every week. Um, and it's really difficult. And um, what we can really provide is someone to listen to them and to really understand where they're at and to be able to um, put it in perspective and to help them through this hard time that they're very vulnerable without someone um, really to be able to to unload on. And it's very difficult with couples too. Women um, and men deal with things very differently and within that, you know, it's, it's very different in each couple. Um, and so it's really helpful to have um, another person to be involved in that that can be objective and uh, really provide a helping hand. One of the myths that comes with infertility is that patients feel like something is wrong with them. And in fact, nothing is actually wrong with them. It's just little nuances of their reproductive anatomy or their physiology that we can tweak to help them get back on track to where they want to be. I made the decision to join RMA uh, based on a number of factors. The biggest was it gave me an opportunity to pursue my passions in um, an area that's, that's unique to this field. Um, I'll be doing primarily surgery and that's not something that's generally um, the role of a reproductive uh, endocrinologist anymore. It's um, now a lot of times sent out to gynecologists or to minimally invasive surgeons and I really wanted to use my minimally invasive skills. Um, and so this gave me the opportunity, it was a big enough practice with um, many very talented people that, that would provide me an opportunity to do a lot of surgery and to keep my skills current and to really push myself to improve. So the innovations in technology are extremely important to our field. Um, they change on a daily basis, they change on an hourly basis, and if you're not up to date, then you're missing something. And so it's really important to stay current and relevant um, so that we can provide the best care to our patients. Um, I love being able to see a problem, figure out what's behind the problem, um, and then figure out a treatment plan that leads to a concrete solution. Um, and that's something that's unique to the care of uh, people struggling with infertility. In order to keep patients focused, uh, the end goal of a healthy baby. I think the most important thing is to remain positive and optimistic and to really keep um, really to keep an eye on the big picture. Um, each of these individual things can be very stressful and um, really difficult to go through in the moment but at the end of the day um, keeping the idea of that healthy baby in your arms really is a good, a good way to keep patients um, really just engaged in their treatment and optimistic. I'm often inspired by patients, but there's one in particular that stands out in my mind. Um, she came in, she had no reason for infertility, and I assumed that we'd be able to get her pregnant relatively quickly, and it didn't happen, and I didn't know why it didn't happen, and we just kept pursuing different treatments, and then finally we figured out that there was one little nuance in her care that was unique, and so once we got over that hurdle and were able to get her pregnant, it was so satisfying for both the couple and for me, and then being able to watch her through her pregnancy and deliver a healthy baby was um, just why I do this job.